Hello everyone, Kyle here from Wide Awake PH and in today's episode, we'll be talking about light roast coffee. So light roast coffee has been a sensationalized term in the coffee industry and I think it would be helpful if we have a discussion on what it actually is and what the roaster's objective is when doing a light roast coffee. So there are many ways to do a light roast coffee, but for us, a really good light roast coffee is the one that develops the coffee so that we have maximal clarity, sweetness, and character out of the coffee that we are roasting. In practice, this means that we are introducing just the right amount of caramelization so that we are getting all the great flavors we have in the high quality green beans that we are roasting without introducing any kind of harshness, bitterness, or bad roast character in the coffee that we are roasting. So the concept is simple enough, but it is actually pretty difficult to execute. This is because when we are roasting, what we are essentially doing is that we are stuffing these tiny, delicate green beans inside a very uh, violent environment. You see, the roast machine is basically a stainless steel drum that is heated up to around 280 degrees Celsius or more and that rotates around 70 to 80 revolutions per minute, circulating air and heat inside. So you can imagine that it can be pretty difficult to control the roast to the way you want it. Actually, in such an environment, the window of opportunity for a delicious light roast is rather small. It is actually easier to roast the coffee to a medium roast level or to a dark roast level because you have a larger range of acceptable outcomes with these roast degrees. This is because when you roast medium or when you roast dark, when you roast a little bit lighter than that, then you'll still get a pleasant or decently drinkable result. On the other hand, if you roast a little bit darker, that should still be fine with milk and sugar. But with light roast coffee, this is certainly not the case because if you roast a little bit lighter than you have wanted with a light roast, you'll have something akin to vegetable soup for coffee. Uh, and what that means is uh, when you roast lighter than a light coffee, you'll have a coffee that's undercooked or underdeveloped. In the cup, these kinds of coffee taste very vegetal it lacks a lot of body and texture and really reminds me of vegetable soup. But on the flip side, when we roast a little bit darker than the light roast that we are trying to go for, then we run the risk of losing the character of the coffee that we are trying so hard to showcase because then we are introducing roast character, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of harshness, less clarity than we had intended for the light roast. So the next question should be, then why take all this trouble and roast this way? Well, that's because for us, a well-executed, well-developed, lightly roasted coffee is the sweetest possible expression of a coffee. This is because when we are roasting coffee, we need to make use of caramelization so that it develops and roasts further. And caramelization happens by introducing pyrolysis to the coffee. So uh, the more caramelized the coffee is, the more burnt or the more developed it is. So this means if we put or, or if we introduce too much pyrolysis to the coffee, then we will get a lot of harsh roasty bitter flavors similar to many foods that we use torches to cook or develop um, you know if you can imagine like a creme brulee when you torch it and then it starts turning from white 
to light brown, medium brown, and dark brown. You'll notice that the darker brown it is, the more bitter it is. And the same rings true for roasting coffee. So this is why we think that lighter roasted coffee is the sweetest possible expression of a coffee. Because then we are introducing just the right amount of caramelization to the beans so that we achieve maximum amount of sweetness and clarity while minimizing the impact of pyrolysis to our coffee, thereby reducing the harshness and bitterness that you can perceive in the cup. This is why a really delicious, well-developed, lightly roasted coffee tastes excellent. It will really allow you to appreciate the coffee's origin story. So there you have it. That is our definition of a lightly roasted coffee. What's fun about light roasted coffee is that while the window of opportunity for it is small, uh, there are still many ways that we can interpret and execute the concept. And what this, what this means is over time, as we further refine and hone our skills, improve upon our sourcing, and taste more coffee, not just from us, but from other roasters as well, we can still keep refining and improving the way we do these lightly roasted coffees. And we can all enjoy these coffees even more. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Thank you.